thinking to yourself now what am I gonna do for Christmas oh god I love Christmas so much but you gotta do something special what about this a pork nativity <laughs> I can't believe it it's all edible ladies and gentlemen apart from some of the wood and polystyrene it's delicious absolutely and you can make it yourself I'm gonna show you how are you ready now are you ready three Two, one, cook like a priest. Really important, so I need uh, one of these. It's a cooking tray, uh, it's about this big. I don't know how big it is, for God's sakes, I'm not a scientist. Uh, over here now, you're gonna need some cardboard. Amazon, lovely people, they send it out all the time. It has to fit in there a bit like this. Now, for the base, what should we use? I don't know, what about pork rind? Oh. Beautiful stuff, look. It was on a pig's back, and now we have it right here as a basis for our manger. And it's all snowy and white. I love that. Thank you, piggy. Get all your bacon sorted out nicely now. Lay it out in a pan just like that, you see? That's going to be your porky roof. Oh yeah, you're gonna need this now. This is a cookie cutter in the shape of a wise man. <laughs> Who'd have thought of that? I don't know. Now you're thinking to yourself, Father, I don't have a cookie cutter in the shape of a wise man. What am I going to do? I'm going to hold it up for here, like that for you. You take a picture of that. There you go. Now that, you just take it out, print it out, cut around it. There you go, you have it. Of course, as we all know, Spam is a miracle food. Because it's a feckin' miracle if you can get it out of the feckin' tin. Oh, look at me chopping spam there now, look. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna press out the little wise man. And I give him a quick old fry up and everything, make him nice and crispy. Oh, God. Oh, no. Who's wise now, huh? So then, what are we gonna do about the baby Jesus? Now, that's really been a worry to me, you know, how to pull this thing off. You get yourself a scotch egg. Now, as we all know, there's an egg inside. We don't need that, do we? So, oh, of course we don't. So we're going to take that out. There's the crib right there. All we need now is four little uh, skewers here now, one in each corner. It's a crib. It's a crib, ladies and gentlemen. Look, all we need now is a baby Jesus. Well, here we have a tiny little cocktail sausage. Look, isn't he beautiful? He fits right in there. But he can't be in there without swaddling clothes. Yeah, mad. So for that now, ladies and gentlemen, I've got myself some lovely Parma ham, because as we all know, it's the king of hams. So I'm just going to wrap them up now in it. There you go. There you go. There's Jesus wrapped in, 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 the, in the Parma ham. Now, isn't, isn't that beautiful? Look. Look at that. And there he is, ladies and gentlemen. Porky Jesus wrapped in Parma ham in a scotch egg. Now, of course, structurally, it's been quite difficult to get support for the roof, you know. So what I've done is I've got a bit of packaging. So I look, I made a square out of it and put a little score mark there. I've put some skewers through the back of the board there now just to hold on to the roof. And there's two more going down into the rind. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that with it, you see. Here's the bacon roof. Aren't you glad you didn't eat it? <laughs> it's the three wise men. There's Mary. There's Joseph coming in there now. Oh, yeah. Pork by name, not by nature. It's not his baby, is it? <laughs> it isn't. Don't be angry with me. It's not. Now, just to add that final touch now, I'm going to have us a haggis lawn, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. Just spread it out there. That's the thing. Nothing left but a little bacon crisp snow. Ah, now, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. A beautiful pork nativity sitting there on a haggis grass. Nothing could be better. All we need now is to put our little chipolata Jesus into the manger. And here he goes. A perfect Christmas scene. You can make this yourself. 
It was easy, wasn't it? Only took a few seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget, if you want to subscribe, press that button thing down there. And come back and see me again on Cooks Like a Priest. Now, a little bit of snow. I'd love to hear from you. Why don't you drop me an email at fatheraustinpurcell at gmail.com or go to the website, you big fool. fatheraustinpurcell.xyz Come on, it's where the fun's happening.